I need everybody's attention. I have a really important person. I have a really important person who has something really important to say. Can you guys take a listen for me? All right. Wait, wait, can you guys take a listen for me? Okay. Right now, I'm introducing to you Sam. I need everybody to make some noise for Sam right now. Everybody make some noise. Everybody make some noise right now. I give to you Sam. So how are we all doing tonight? We doing good? So my name is my name is Sam Regan, and I am 15 years old. Now, around six and a half years ago, I was diagnosed with Tourette syndrome. For those for those that don't know. Tourette syndrome is a neurobiological disorder that causes involuntary motor and vocal tics. In more simple terms, Tourette syndrome is a disorder in the brain that causes me to make uncontrollable movements and noises. I've always had some differences, whether it was delayed speech, sensory dysfunction, or anxiety. Once I developed the facial grimaces, vocal speeches and leg jerks, we, th we thought going to the neurologist would give us an answer and a solution. But hearing the news of Tourette syndrome from the neurologist was not the most joyful moment of my life. It was as if I was looking for a treasure chest of answers, and instead of finding gold, I found a brick that I would have to carry around for the rest of my life. This brick received a name, which was Tourette Syndrome, and I had no cure to get rid of it. During the first few months after hearing this news, I was very self-conscious. I was afraid to just leave the house out of fear of people judging me for my Tourette. Even though this was a very negative time, it was a very crucial time for my future. It was a time when I decided whether I wanted to be the kind of person that saw my Tourette and pretended it wasn't there and hid it, or I could be the kind of person that saw my Tourette as a challenge and do something about it, like advocate or find coping strategies. This second option was exactly what I chose and what I continue to choose each and every day. Throughout, throughout my time of living with Tourette Syndrome, I've had many ups and downs. Tourette Syndrome waxes and wanes, meaning it comes and goes. So I have times with minimal tics when no one notices them, and times when it's very extreme, in which everyone notices them. This just becomes another opportunity for me to use my voice, I'm telling people why I'm making these weird sounds and noises. For example, I've never tried to have a big presence in a classroom or public spaces because people would judge me for my turn. Yet, this is not their fault because they do not know about the disorder. So I took this obstacle and I educate people so that they would understand. When my tics made it hard for me to hold an object in my hands, I became a drummer so that I could reteach myself how to hold an object. When I didn't want to be stared at, I became an actor. When I didn't want to go to school, I used that as a motivator to be a top-notch student. Being <laughs> Being able to do this was not an easy thing to do, but it really taught me always to see the cup half full instead of half empty. Just in case you aren't picking up a theme, obstacles are not a wall with no way through. Obstacles are simply a hurdle that can be gone over but only if you find the will to do so. If you do find a way over, then not only is this a burden lifted off your head, <clears throat> but <clears throat> this is it what makes you become a better you. <laughs> now, these 
are just a few examples of how I use my voice, but in truth, if we find a purpose, we found our voice. Don't get me wrong, speaking in front of people can and is nerve wracking, and not everyone is willing to do so. This isn't the only way to find your voice. Write a book, be a dancer or a singer or an athlete or whatever your passion is. All of the All of these have a very similar beginning, which is you. Each and every one of you can be the change you want to see in your world just by using your voice. Even though this is my story of Tourette syndrome, you all have a story too. One out of a hundred people have Tourette syndrome, yet a hundred out of a hundred people have something, whether it is a learning disability or an anxiety or even just an allergy. We all have some challenge. No one's alone in their struggle. Use your voice to benefit yourself and others. Find your purpose, overcome your challenge, and be the best you. Have your challenge or disability be part of who you are, not what defines you. Thank you all so much for your time, and I hope you have a fantastic experience.